Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and today we're going to be talking all the new recent DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys reveals for 2022 thus far. Couple oddballs, couple repaints, couple, uh, one in particular where you're like, nah, I don't know if I need that one, right? But a hey, uh, shameless plug, if you are interested, you can check out the entirety of the 2021 the sophomore year McFarlane Toys now up on my YouTube channel. Go ahead, give it a look after you watch this news video. And FYI, when applicable, as always, I will have links for all of these figures if they're available to pre-order. I'll put them up for Amazon, Entertainment Earth. Those are the sites I recommend. Thanks for using my links in advance. They will help my channel to grow. Now, to kick things off really fast, we have some new-ish DC Multiverse figures that deal heavily with Batman Beyond. Now, this one was prior showing up to Target stores. I did find this in the store. I did go over it in one of my videos. This is Ink as Batman Beyond. It's a repaint of the Batman Beyond figure, one of the many repaints that we have gotten thus far. We're all on the same page, right? Now, McFarlane Toys is not Marvel Legends. We all know this. We all have coming to understand this. It's a vastly different company. It's a vastly different line of toys. They're not going to put extra heads in the box just yet. I, if they do, maybe they will. But for right now, that's how they do it. They're going to release an unmask. They're going to do a repaint. They're going to, do, And you don't have to get them because that's what I also go over in my video. It, the idea of getting them all is sadly at an end. And to be honest with you, a couple of these, they're really not going to be floating my boat. And they're not going to be on my shelf, which is totally okay. I'm going to go more for the ones that elevate my collection, the ones that I actually want to get and not getting them out of necessity. So let's try something new for 2022, all right? We'll see, we'll see how this goes. It's only January, right? And then next up in the Batman Beyond category, we have the Meltdown variant Blight. Now, way back in the cartoon for Batman Beyond, one of the earliest episodes of season one was Meltdown, featured Mr. Freeze, and Blight went full-on... Blight mode. You got to see his powers in action. No pun intended, right? So this version, even though I still want that Sunday best business power suit version of Blight. I think that that would be really cool. Again, keeping with the motif, it's the same figure. They've updated the head. You got a little bit more flame effect Ghost Rider thing going on. And then you have powers to clip on to his wrist. So again... Not necessarily a figure you need if you already got the Target exclusive version. Yes, it's great they put powers on this one. It's only 20 bucks, whereas the Target version was 25 because it came with the collect build piece. Now the case, I will tell you this, he does look cool, but not necessarily one that I need for my shelf. And then you got this new Batwoman Beyond figure, which actually I think has a really nicely sculpted female face. It's kind of refreshing to see that. McFarlane does a lot of great monsters. Some of the guys' faces can go either way, here and there. We'll talk about that in just a second. But this is a nice female, feminine looking figure. And I really do think that it looks like actress Olivia Wilde. I know it from the OC and of course, most recently, uh, Gozer, the new Gozer-ish kind of thing for Ghostbusters Afterlife. This is the same exact Batwoman Beyond figure that again was in the Target exclusive wave. I really was hoping they were gonna do the blue version of her costume. She kind of takes on more of a uh, look for her father, Dick Grayson. She comes with the same thing that Terry did come with in the uh, like the normal version of Batman Beyond. She's got the thrusters, she's got the extra hands, and she's got the wings. She's got the whole deal. So again, this is just an unmasked Batwoman Beyond. If it's your thing, well, you can go and pre-order her now. And then they briefly went over, they posted this. This is the Titan Joker. This is from Batman Arkham Asylum. I uh, I remember when I played the game and this was at the end and Joker turned into this. That was kind of one of those like big letdown moments because it's weird to see the Joker kind of go that route. You know what I mean? I understand it in a, in a video game sense. But paint looks spot on. Looks pretty good. It looks to have a element of a black light effect, including a couple other figures possibly coming up. So we'll see how that goes. More details on this at a later date. It's simply just this photo of joker holding batman but in either sense for the paint job for the look of the figure thus far he's going to be an oversized figure he's going to be big so we'll see how this figure goes and then when they released uh, photos of the aquaman a couple weeks ago that was 
kind of teased as the Endless Winter tie-in. Now, they gave us a full look at the Frost King and then four of the other figures that should be in this wave, and that looks to be a collect-to-build wave as well. Now, I know how artwork kind of sort of does and does not translate to figures sometimes. The, the artwork looks a lot cooler. This figure looks a little vague, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, when I first saw it, I, I didn't really know what to make of it. I, I don't know if I'm excited about this figure. One, I'd be excited because, yes, it is a new character, and I'm always down to get new characters for the shelves, but it's not got that pizzazz that I uh, was kind of hoping for. Now, the other four characters are heavy hitters in the storyline. So, yes, we'll get a new Batman, right? So that'll be the first Batman of 2022 <laughs> or the eighth. I don't know anymore. And it, it looks okay for what it is. It's not exactly a look that I'm like, oh, cool. Yeah, that's a, that's a look that I'm familiar with. Then you have Black Adam, which I'm, to be honest with you, I'm not too stoked on the face on that guy. Then you got Wonder Woman. That's her costume from the comic book storyline. So she looks pretty good. Looks to come with a sword. And then another re-release of Jon Stewart. Looks to have a power effect, unless that's just a digital effect, and then he'll come with a power sword as well. So all of these seemingly sometime in between early spring, in and around, depending on shipping and whatnot, 2022. And then you got this big mamma jamma coming, another one of those uh, Titan bigger figures, right? You got Clayface coming. In all honesty, Clayface to me, I instantly think of Batman the Animated Series. I think of that orange, brown, muddy kind of coloring to him i really do like that in the midst of the figure if you look really closely you can see little faces and such i kind of saw that uh, early on i like that they're doing that that's in the little mcfarland thing i don't know honestly in, in regards if uh if that's something from his look in the comics but if it's not that's definitely a little mcfarland trope right thrown into the sculpt there he does look good but again let's be honest he does kind of look kind of poopish right i'm gonna be just 100% honest with you on that one. That's not to say that it's a bad looking clay face because it's definitely not. I really did like the uh, prior Mattel one that came out right before they lost the license. But this one, I, I hope he, I really do hope that he comes with some swap out effects. I think that was something missing from the prior Mattel one, ones that were supposed to go to Toys R Us and then they folded and then it all kind of folded in on itself. But Clayface, when you release these figures, you really need to have some effect pieces. So maybe, which I hope they don't do like a million of them or, you know, one comes with a spike ball, you know, something like that. But Let's just say this, from the photo, from the looks of it, I'm not 100% sold on the coloring look. Maybe he'll look better in hand, of course, but it looks like a pretty good looking clay face. And then you got, oh my God, what the heck is that? Sorry, I had to do it. This one they put up, this is supposed to be the Robert Pattinson, Bruce Wayne from the upcoming The Batman movie. We'll leave this one alone. I think it was uh, memed and done to death. I got in on the action too. Look. Not every figure is going to be a winner, but I would say in all fairness, it's important to a company to let them know how you feel towards a figure. This is one of those figures where 100% in this photo, if this is how the figure is going to turn out, that's not a very good looking figure at all. It's going to sit on the shelf. Uh, those types of uh, ideas. You know what I mean? It's going to go full Eternals is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Unfortunately, hey, it's coming with a bat bike. That's cool, backpack. They did pull the image down as to what that really means as far as the figure's release. Well, remains to be seen, but if I'm being 100% honest, I am excited for the Batman movie, but this is one of those figures where I would not want this. I don't need a Bruce Wayne figure. I don't need it. Some things work in plastic and some things best left on the screen. So that's all I'm gonna say, but in either case, I think that they listened to fans and pulled the image, which probably for the best. But that's going to wrap it up for my look at some of the brand new DC Multiverse unveils. Now, just one thing before I leave you, there were some teases on Amazon recently, and there's no images to go with them, so I'm not going to waste your time in doing that whole thing. But there are some figures that... Hopefully, and I, I will put links down below in case they, they pop up, depending on when you see this video, but they had The Flash from the recent TV show. They had uh, Season 7. Specifically, they have a Batman vs. Hush 7-inch multi-pack figure set, so that'd be cool. They have Jonathan Kent from Future State, the new Superman, Superman's son, that whole deal. They also have the Batman Who Laughs, who is in a Batman disguise 
uh, if you wanted to go that route. So that's another Batman, technically. And then you have a vehicle that is actually that's being billed as the Joker Dragon from Dark Knight's Metal. So all of these, very curious to see how they go. Very curious to see how they look. Will they show them before Toy Fair? Will they show them at Toy Fair? Remains to be seen. So, I'm curious to know what you guys think. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, it's the third year of McFarlane Toys happening for 2022. And I'm excited to see what they're going to do. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Adios.